Hi. Welcome again to ingvid.com. I'm Adam. Today we're going to look at something that I know students sometimes get confused about. Okay. First of all, they, I, students ask me all the time, what is the subjunctive? Okay. The subjunctive voice and grammar. First of all, let me tell you, there are two different or three even different ways of looking at the subjunctive. Usually people think the doctor recommended he go to hospital. That is one example of the subjunctive. What I want to look at today is the word wish, the verb to wish, okay? And how it is used, because this is sometimes very confusing to students. So here I have a few examples of how to use the verb wish. I wish I were rich. He wishes he were taller. Okay, so first thing you notice, I'm using were, not was. Okay, now why? Because. I'm sorry to say it like that, but that's how it is. Always use were, never use was. I, you, he, she, it, they, we, was, uh, were. Sorry, I almost said was. Were, always. I wish it would rain. Now here we're talking about an action verb, rain, like to come down, rain. So we use would. Bill Clinton wishes Hillary would be president. Notice the capital P because president is a title here, specific. So this is called the subjunctive voice. What we are talking about when we use the verb wish is a hypothetical. What does hypothetical mean? Hypothetical means imaginary. It's not real. Okay, so anytime we use the word wish, the verb wish, we're talking about something that isn't true and can't be true. If it can be true, you will probably use the word hope. But that's another story. Okay, so how do we construct this? How do we set up sentences? I'm going to write this down for you in a second and we'll look at how to do this. Okay, so first let's look at how we construct a sentence using wish. We begin with our subject, of course, our verb wish, and then we always have to remember to go one tense back. What does that mean? If you have a present tense verb in the real situation, when you talk about wish, you talk about simple past. If the real situation is simple past, the wish would be past perfect, right? Because it's two back, two pasts back. Future, again, would become would. Let's look at these examples. Right now, I am not rich. This is the real situation. This is the fact. So I wish I were rich. The am present becomes were, past. And again, remember, always were, never was. That's the main thing to remember with wish, okay? Uh, high school. I didn't study hard in high school. I was a very bad student. You are very good students. That's why you come here, right? I didn't study hard in high school. So I wish I had studied harder. Simple past, past perfect. I go one step back, okay? <clears throat> it will be dry tomorrow. Like the air will be very dry, sunny, hot, etc. Two ways I can speak about it. I can wish it would rain. I can use the action verb, but the will becomes would. Or I wish it would be rainy tomorrow. If I want to maintain the be verb, I still use the would. I just add the be, go to the adjective rainy and talk about the hypothetical situation. So again, two very important things to remember about using wish. One, anything you say with the wish verb is not real, okay? Two, anything you say with the wish verb, you're going back one tenth from the real situation. And always remember, were, not was, okay? That's the main thing. So some of you will be taking whatever test you're taking, IELTS, TOEFL, etc., TOEIC, the subjunctive. This is a very common question on any test that has a grammar section. It's almost guaranteed you'll have one question about wish. 
And this especially is what they are going to be testing you on. The were, not the was. Okay? Now, many native speakers will say, I wish I was rich. You know what? That's okay for them to say. They're native English speakers. It's not correct. You want to be correct, you will say were. Okay? If you're not exactly clear about all this, go to ingvid.com. There's a quiz. You can have more examples and test yourself and ask questions there. Okay? See you soon. Thanks.